Hi folks, Seth Liebson here. Thanks for watching my monologue. In these uncertain times, you may be thinking about personal protection. If you are, I urge you to visit my friends at Guns Etc. They'll help you find the perfect protection for yourself and your family, and they can even teach you how to use it. They've been protecting Arizonans for over 33 years, and they stand for the great principles this country was founded upon. Or you can just click on GunsEtc.com. And if you like my monologues, please subscribe to 960 The Patriots' YouTube channel. Welcome back. Happy December 16th, 2020. Nike employs Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick is the face of Nike. Colin Kaepernick has become more famous standing up against racism in America than he was as a quarterback. In standing up against racism, he has denounced the police, encouraged people not to stand for the national anthem, and decried the history of America as racist, even selectively quoting pioneers of civil rights to have them be seen as denouncing America and her founding because of slavery. Nike does business in and with China, over $6 billion worth of business there last year. Last year, Nike even announced it was expanding its business in China. China employs slave labor, current or present tense. Not 155 years ago, when the part in America that had it ended, it the part of America that had it and the other part of America that fought to end it and won 155 years ago. China has no 13th or 14th Amendment. I was going to say that China doesn't have a constitution, but they actually do. It's just not very much like ours. Indeed, here's Article 1 of China's constitution. Quote, The People's Republic of China is a socialist state governed by a people's democratic dictatorship that is led by the working class and based on an alliance of workers and peasants. The socialist system is the fundamental system of the People's Republic of China. Leadership by the Communist Party of China is the defining feature of socialism with Chinese characteristics. It is prohibited for any organization or individual to damage the socialist system. Close quote. It also has a preamble, a very long one. But in it, you find this, quote, The People's Democratic Dictatorship, led by the working class and based on an alliance of workers and peasants, which in essence is a dictatorship of the proletariat, has been consolidated and developed. Close quote. We, too, here in America, have a preamble wherein you find this, quote, In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure the most domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Welcome back, Not everybody, exactly to another episode of PC Hoops. Or prohibiting in opposition. the 70s. To socialism. Now, what I really like, or maybe an ADA. And so at this thank moment, you, Brewer, like thank you, Dom, thank you, Guy, as always, for this game. awesome game, Last. and thank you all for listening. I know it's hard to stay on top of everything when there are for more really from your pen and the media uh, wants to focus on. But there was this story deep, headline: deep "Quote: players that you don't ever see. Nike and Coke." Well, thank you, Brewer. Thank you, Dom. Thank you, Guy, as always, for this awesome game, and thank you all for listening. Pay close attention. Nike used money for it more from your Penn and Chase dot com hoops podcast hosts. Please check out the Cameron West Coast Wiffle Report on Spreaker dot com, on Twitter at Congress AZ Wiffle Ball, story, quote, and Sports Limelight and on SoundCloud. Are among on the major Twitter at Sports Limelight. Business groups lobbying Congress to weaken a bill that would ban imported goods made with forced labor in China's Shenzhen region, PC according to congressional podcast. staff members and other people familiar with the matter as well as lobbying records that show vast spending on the legislation, close quote. You see, as the story goes on to report, quote, human rights groups and news reports have linked many multinational companies to suppliers there documenting Uyghur workers in a factory in Qingdao that make Nike shoes, close quote. Qingdao is in the Xinjiang province, the heart of darkness in China, where Uyghurs are disappeared or forced into slavery. Not 155 years ago, now, and for years. 
In a report published earlier this year out of Australia, a report titled, quote, Uyghurs for Sale, the opening states, quote, the Chinese government has facilitated the mass transfer of Uyghur and other ethnic minority citizens from the far west region of the Xinjiang to factories across the country, close quote. The report goes on. Since 2017, more than a million Uyghurs and members of other Turkic Muslim minorities have disappeared into a vast network of re-education camps in the far west region of Xinjiang in what some experts call a systematic government-led program of cultural genocide. Inside the camps, detainees are subjected to political indoctrination, forced to renounce their religion and culture, and in some instances subjected to torture. In the name of combating religious extremism, Chinese authorities have been actively remolding the population in the image of China's Han ethnic majority. Slave labor, persecution, forced indoctrination, and conversion. Makes me think, you know who would give their eye teeth to be able to go to a football game in America and stand for the national anthem? These slave laborers in China who Kaepernick and Nike profit off of and try to sell us on and lecture us about how bad America is because a part of it had slavery that was ended 155 years ago by an other part of it. You see, it turns out the dictatorship of the proletariat is very rewarding to the actual dictators and profiteers off the revolution. Now, yesterday was Bill of Rights Day, helping us to better appreciate our Constitution. It wasn't that much on it or about it for our country and our founding is seen by the cultural elites as a down market commodity. I'll tell you what a real and true down market commodity is. Anything made in China by actual slave labor and any American company that spends millions of dollars to lobby Congress to take it easy on China's slave labor, all the while lecturing us and hiring spokesmen to lecture us on how bad we are because of how bad some of us, some of us, once were. And by once were, I mean in the age of what would be the generation of our great, great and great, great, great grandfathers. If, if they even lived here in the 18th or 19th century. As for who we are today, if you are in the region of China, you don't have to look far. Worried about Chinese incursions and repression, protesters in Hong Kong march and chant with American iconography and our national anthem. If we praise them and happen to be employed by the NBA, we are told to retract the praise for it may affect the NBA's relationship with China, which is the same relationship Nike has with China. Residents in Hong Kong, you see, know something about us, the NBA, and Nike doesn't want us to know, and that Colin Kaepernick either does not know or does not want us to believe if he does know. For there is a lot of money to be made off this revolution in China. You see, not the revolution of 1776, but the revolution modern day China is based on and that its constitution speaks to. About that, there is a lot of money to be made. It reminds me a bit of Rhett Butler's line. You see, what people forget is it's just as easy to make money in the upbuilding of a country as it is in its destruction. And I suppose it's easy to make money off slavery today in other countries, so long as you denounce it having existed in America once upon a time, or part of America. Though it requires one more step if you're going to play this game. While ignoring its current practice, where you may make money, it is crucial that you point out that the lack of excellence here in America is due to the fallout and legacy of what ended here 155 years ago. That's the important part. You see, while we did end it here, long before we or our parents or grandparents were born, the negative effects still pervade here, we're told. Where it is now active, live, kinetic is of no matter and no moment. In fact, it's worth expending dollars to make sure it keeps going. Meanwhile, we have one Joe Biden, ascendant, whose most famous quote about China is, quote, a rising China is a positive, positive development, not only for China, but for America and the world writ large, close quote. 
It's enough to drive someone mad that any of these people can be taken seriously, but seriously taken they are. Now I see the ice cream company, the progressive ice cream company, Ben & Jerry's, has a new flavor with Colin Kaepernick's face on it. It's called Colin Kaepernick's Change the World. W-H-I-R-R-L-E-D. Ben & Jerry's, before you think it's a quaint little outfit in some cabin in Vermont, had $6 billion in revenue last year. But change the world. It's an attempted homophone, but really just a cute way of saying change the world, W-O-R-L-D. But to the progressive human rights activists and concerned corporate employees and owners of Ben & Jerry's, I guess the world doesn't include 20% of the world's population. You know, the world's most populous country, China. If they really wanted to change the world or stand up for human rights, they'd tell Mr. Kaepernick they'd like to have a licensing agreement with him for their ice cream, but would do so only if he stands up for the slaves and against the slavery in China. You see, slavery should matter because it's slavery. It should matter because it's now, with us, present, contemporary. And it should matter regardless of your race or religion or country. That's why we have institutions on human rights. Human rights. Chinese and Uyghur, last I checked, were part of that species called human. But I guess there's something now we need to get used to. Too big to care. It's popular to sing Imagine by John Lennon this time of year. I think we'd be better to sing his song, Nobody Told Me, with the lyrics, They're starving back in China, so finish what you've got. They're starving back in China, so finish with what you've got. Nobody told me there'd be days like these. Strange days indeed. I'm Seth Liebson. We'll be right back. <laughs> 